Hi, this is Marcia, and you're joining part two of the Blended Learning Coaching Blocks. Today is Consistent Deployment. All right, that's right. Today we're going to be talking about being consistent with deploying studios. Now that you have deployed blended learning for a year, it's time to reflect back to make sure that the teachers are constantly adding in studios at least once a week. And that's what we're going to talk about is the why consistency is so important and to make sure that we reflect back to see where studios will fit. So let's get started here. So part one of the blended learning coaching blocks is talking about reflective planning. If you missed that, go back and search for part one of reflective planning, and it's just going to help you to align this one to our next video, which is on consistent deployment. Being consistent with deploying blended learning is not only a great way to build sustainability for your teachers, but it also helps our students understand the process. If there's too many weeks or too many gaps in between the deployment of studios, then all those procedures and the understanding of the content of why it's being deployed in studios will fall apart. So being consistent is very important. This is one of the best examples of consistency for year two of deploying blended learning. This is a faster pace. Teachers have already deployed studios. They understand the studios. So now we're picking up the pace for not only teachers, but also for the students. So we're going from two studios to like, hey, get to know you activity to three studios. But you will see at least every week I'm trying to deploy studios two times a week. As we continue to build in the studios for the second month of school. Now I'm going to be doing it more consistent with a two-day checklist. I really want to build up to more student ownership by using pace, place, and path. So I'm going to really push our team to being more consistent with doing a two-day checklist. When we're looking at consistency of deployment, we really want to look at their pacing guide. What does our pacing guide say and how can I use that pacing guide to help build consistency with the teachers? So the first thing I do is I take anything that's out of my control and I mark it out as blue, like no school days or map assessment. I really want to make sure that I'm highlighting that for the teachers so they can automatically see that those days are all right, they're out of our control. We can't do anything about that. We're moving on, but we still have to be consistent. So then I look at where their standards are that can be aligned to studio days. Where do the studio days fit? And that first week, it only fit one day. So therefore, I'm going to do a one-day checklist. The following week, I was able to get in a two-day checklist before the review test. The third week, it only worked with a one-day checklist. But then the next week, the last week of the month, I was able to get a two-day checklist in, again, combining it with a review day. So this consistent deployment is really going to help me build that sustainability, again, with our teachers to understand what the studios look like when we're allowing pace, place, and path, and of course, data, but also building consistency with the students. It's not just something else. This is the way we're learning. Studios are the way that we're connecting the content and relevant applications and different learning modalities. So when you go back and you start the building blocks for next year, really lay out and look at the pacing guide and try to deploy studios on a constant schedule.